That cup is definitely empty. It's not half full. I've shot a bunch of these. I make one almost every day. I've shot a bunch of them towards the future. <laughs> you can put them on YouTube and uh, um, schedule them to be released whenever. Some of them go up to like a thousand years, a hundred years. <laughs> if it sucks for this time, I figure they're not ready for it, you know. This one I'm going to call probably the Keystone. It uh, is meant to be released after I'm dead. <laughs> Speaking to you from beyond the grave. I've, uh, I've got a serious heart condition. I'm almost at like 100% blockage. Which reminds me I need to smoke a cigarette. <laughs> I want to. Uh, it, uh, I think I'm down to, oh, weeks or months now, I'd say weeks, uh, before, uh, some cardiac crisis that takes me out of this hellhole of a world. <laughs> I, uh, I guess one thing with me is, uh, what was it about? What did I learn? Well, the first thing is I'm, I'm Brooks Hadlin. Fellas, I've decided not to stay. I could go to a hospital. I just, I've been through a cancer surgery that hurt so bad. It was just such a shock to me that uh, I don't want to go through that again. I couldn't imagine them opening up my chest to do a surgery, you know. I don't want to. I just wanted to do, I had a vision of sort of beauty, I guess. It, totally beauty, you know, with music and uh, uh, I had uh, A vision about it, you know, it's like math, it, it works out perfectly. People would have to fucking bother me when I'm making like a final statement, you know. But uh, what did I learn? It was neat, you know, it was neat. I'm not pissed or I'm not gonna do a, it might be a long rant, I'm not gonna do a <laughs> incoherent like fuck the world kind of deal, you know, uh, you know, you, you, if you've been sick for a long, long time, it, uh, and in a lot of pain now, I'm in a tremendous, feels like an elephant's on my chest right now, has been for about three months, getting worse, six months, really getting worse every single day, haven't really been able to function lately, and I'm in a lot of pain from trigeminal neuralgia. I survived 15 years with trigeminal neuralgia. Most people kill themselves in the first five, 97% in the first five, so. You know, it's been like a fucking nightmare, really. But it's been a beautiful thing. I've, the pushing on my nervous system, this hellish pushing of the, uh, the pain from the neuralgia has uh, sort of amp, and our consciousness is all about our nervous system, so it's sort of amped up my ability to understand things and to do things in, in a way. Uh, it um, is the kind of deal where I, uh, you know, but I'm here. I mean, that's where it ended up for me here. Let's see if I can get that plane. I loved aviation. Really did. Big fan of aviation. Never got to be a pilot. Something I always wanted to do. I'd probably do, I'd probably be a pilot above and beyond everything else if I had more time. But, uh, you know, because my nervous system got amped up, I can do stuff now that, uh, I mean, I've been pushed to the brink of hell. I've been committed a bunch of times to psychiatric facilities. And uh, I, uh, 
I've been pushed to the brink of, you know, sanity and insanity and and all kinds of, uh, no, that's just fucked up. Something's wrong about that. <laughs> it's kind of cool, but it's wrong. But, um, I think that used to be mine, actually. I, uh, I have all kinds of skills and abilities now that I can understand things in a much, much deeper way than I did before. And, uh, it's kind of cool, it's kind of weird. I can, you know, play all kinds of music and songs and stuff, and then, in, uh, in volume, you know do incredible stuff but uh, I've never actually looked over here some kind of antenna station it's a generator oh I thought it was a personal generator this is some kind of like broadcast repeater or something but uh, here's somewhere to sit down It, uh, for me, I mean, fuck, I ended up here, and it's the kind of thing where, what could I say of any value here? It was neat, life, I'm not pissed. I understand how God and the universe function now implicitly, there's no question. Sometimes I think people are the fucking cockroach of the universe, you know? Uh... Just totally evil and bad and bullshit. And, and then they surprise me with nice stuff, you know. Sometimes. I was pretty nice. I did everything right, you know. I had a son and a daughter. That's why I made all these vlogs. They will come back because I know about who they are and where they came from and myself and people. I understand people now, humanity. Uh... They'll come to these video logs over and over again and look at them in their lives. Not when the, my daughter's like very 20 now. She's got the world by the balls, you know. She thinks she knows it all. I don't even don't talk to her a couple of times. I, I get that sense because I was like that, you know. So full of arrogance so full of cocksurety and know-it-allness and shit in my 20s you learn that you're pretty much an idiot until you're somewhere around 40 I'll be I'll be 50 in like a week or two but the symptoms I'm having it's pretty obvious I'm not gonna make it and I don't want to make it I've, I'm in a hurry I'm not in a hurry I, I I'm anxious to see I'm anxious to go and if it's nothing the, the more the better I'm tired I'll keep making the songs and stuff till the day I die now, I know that. It's neat to know what you're going to do the rest of your life, you know, it really is. It takes a lot of questions out. It's perfect to get rid of the, the woman bullshit question. The whole woman issue thing is, uh, and the whole love bullshit. Now we do so much for these little mating games that we do and life. Oh, that's a neat one. Come on. Get it. Can't really see him. But so much of life is wasted on who fucks who and these mating games and the bullshit that goes along with that. You know, I pretty much the way everything works because of evolution and uh, survival of the fittest and so on is that uh, we pretty much are driven to just fuck everything that comes by whether we say we are or not we are. You know, going to work to make the money and do all of that's just so you can have a better place to fuck more people, fuck more women, <laughs> you know. Whether you say it is or not, that's the way shit works. And you can sort of push that lower urge down, but it that's what stuff is about. Even when you, which I haven't got to the point where I, you know, don't have any sex drive or can't perform, I guess that's next. You know, I never had any problem with that at all yet, but... Uh, I can see that even when that goes, it becomes a question of then 
how you just exercise your sheer ego over the world. You know, and I've, I've beaten a lot of that kind of bullshit thinking through art. It's almost heartbreaking to get to the point where you realize that uh, that you're capable of creating great works of art, great music, you know, and I am now. My understanding has increased a millionfold and keeps getting deeper. I think it's like uh, it's like an amp. I used to play tube amps and uh, on stage, and right before they smoke up and burn up, there they sound absolutely unique and the best ever. But uh, I think it, it's kind of heartbreaking to realize nobody really cares or gives a shit. And that's kind of the way the world is organized because uh, it has to be that way. People can't really care too much about you. They're just busy trying to eke out a living for themselves, you know. So uh, it makes it seem like they don't care. And I don't... I think... They don't know and they don't care. There's a lot of that. But there's a lot of great people out there too, you know. It's been a neat life. I'm not uh, pissed to leave it. I've seen beyond all of this bullshit. I see it very clearly now. It's so clear. It's, I can't believe I didn't see it. I mean, it's reflected in the work, the music that I'm able to do now. I see even the slightest imperfection. And uh, Getting away from people was key, was key, is key, I think, in your life. To just be your own ship, your own sail, and your own rudder, you know, and damn everyone around you. Because, you know, familiarity breeds contempt. And the closer you let people get to you, the more they kind of, uh, I don't even think they mean to. They just sort of automatically try to fuck you up because it, your perfection calls to their attention their own bullshit evil flaws you know and I forgive them up top now pretty much I'm not hung up on uh, people most of them are uh, I hate to say it but beneath so far beneath me that's one thing when you're really smart in life uh, you'll be besieged by people who are so beneath you you shouldn't even <laughs> what Jimmy always say, I knew this great musician, Jimmy. He'd play all the instruments and make great recordings and everything. He never went anywhere, never did anything with his music, you know. Nobody liked him, but he would say, uh, most musicians aren't uh, competent to, uh, are qual most people aren't, qual most people, he would say, aren't qualified to lap my famous French so I have like a French accent. Most people aren't qualified to lap my fecal matter from a fucking trench. <laughs> Most people aren't qualified to lap my fecal matter from a trench. And I was like, where'd you get that? Like, you know, how to win friends and influence people type deal. <laughs> you know, uh, so I think it's a, a, with, we are a social animal. We're driven to be social. I haven't really been able to function lately, you know, because of uh, severe pain symptoms now in chest and face and head and neck. It's like being slowly tortured to death. I've learned not to pay too much attention to shit like that. I, I believe I have been alive millions of times. I'll be alive millions of times again. I know all about... Uh, right? It wasn't going to be a long, rambling statement. <laughs> I know God, you know, I know all about how he works. It's, he would be ashamed of most religions, you know. There's a perfection in, uh, in that, you know, I can see it. There are also universes being created every microsecond as big as this one. Yeah, it's awesome. I will exist again, so will you. It might be a trillion years, but... Or a Googleplex, but uh, we will. The laws of physics give us that. Everything that can be, will be. It's just the way stuff works. There's not even any question. Stuff. Those fucking lizards. You'll run when I get close enough. That's right, mister. Huh. 
I'm not pissed. I'm not angry. I'm not anything. I'm anxious to go. I hope it's painless, but everything in my life has been about extreme pain and shit. I should have been dead. I've OD'd eight or ten times and been clinically dead. I mean, this fucking thing, that's one of my nightmares is that this damn thing, this body, this consciousness can't be sp snuffed out. It won't ever die, you know. The peace of the grave. I'm not sad. I'm not pissed. I'm not anything. Nobody gives a fuck about me. Because I've kept them away. Because, you know, I don't see them as inferior. Not, not really. No, it's just they're a nuisance. They disturb my focus. And they're, they're, uh, their uh, motives are not focused. They're just willy-nilly all over the place. You know, they don't know what they're doing. And they fuck you up when you let them come close every single time, you know. Plus, on a day-to-day, -day, getting the, the massive amount of work I've done in the last year done, I think that eventually somebody will discover this, and that's the reason I got the vlog, and maybe in a thousand years, a hundred years, I don't know, sort of realize, like, oh, this was exceptional, beyond exceptional, astounding. It's like my crystal castle, the guy who put all those hundreds of ton rocks by himself in Florida and moved them all. And nobody knows how he did it, and he's dead. This is my crystal castle, and it's sort of, and it's as these videos are released and songs are released over the years in the future, and even what I've done already in the short time, in the last year, uh, anybody who knows anything will begin to question how I did this, you know. It was just sheer determination, 24 hour a day determination, with an aim towards perfection. People do stuff, I saw a thing on YouTube, you know, what motivates people to do things is, uh, they, uh, um, they want to, why people play musical instruments on a weekend, or why they do any art, or uh, anything, two things motivate them, one was the, ser the search for mastery of something that's done artfully, and the other one was a sense of uh, self-determination, self-destination, self-destiny, you know they wanted to, uh, um, is it this fucking guy again? You can tell I love people. Is it this fucker or that fucker? But, uh, it's the kind of thing where, uh, Man, is he yakking on the phone? Yeah. I don't know. Fuck people. <laughs> I, I love them, actually, but I've seen sort of beyond their little pale bullshit. Most are just fucking robots acting out of genetic, uh, a genetic program. And, you know, even my own family, this is good enough where I live now. That's, and I'm not well. That's the bottom line. I'm not able to take care of myself in any decent way anymore. I was amazed to find out that this sort of filthy eking out of, uh, you know, just enough food to live in a bathroom and a bedroom on wheels, this pathetic existence is, that's, it's me, it's not them, so their ego tells them, hey, uh, and I know, oh, well, you should work for, you know, and do better, well, fuck, I can't, man, I'm barely able to stand here anymore. I'm disabled, you know, I'm not well, it's time for me to go, I'm not pissed, but I mean, how quickly they just accepted, like, well, that's good enough for you, <laughs> you know, how everybody accepted that, I'm not mad about it, it's just the way stuff works, you know, um, and it's not about getting what you deserve, dude, you are fucking annoying me, this life, it's not about getting what you deserve, you get what you get. I wish my, I wish that I had known, uh, my, uh, 
of all the people I wanted to know, my daughter was, uh, I wanted to know my daughter, Jessie, and, uh, you know, she's heard nothing but lies and made up bullshit about me, about what a terrible person I am, and, uh, it just isn't true, I was probably the most interesting and best person she ever knew, but how do you come back from that I, and my son he, he he can take care of himself he's half chinese i raised him to be a genius and all the baby einstein stuff and the the right brain foods in his first five years and uh, he he has he's not an emotional being he's a logical being he'll be all right but uh the keystone is what i'll call this i'm not pissed i'm not don't feel like I deserved all kinds of this and that and the other or I just uh, would have been neat to get a little recognition and uh, part of that is I never uh, properly presented my stuff to the world I kept putting it off and there was a lot of stuff you know now I'm too old and it's, it's the last year of having people recognize me for being excellent as a musician has been amazing but uh, it is what it is I'll shoot this one towards the future if you happen to see it and there's evidence that I posted something I'd say give it 90 days after you see this if after you see this video it's 90 days later uh, and you haven't seen anything else posted it's May 22nd 2013 um, it, uh, I'm definitely dead. I'd say it's down to weeks. I'm, uh, I'm I know exactly what happens. I've seen, uh, everything has been revealed to me now. I, I can, this universe. I'm ready to check out some others. I know how this functions. It's not based on any fairness or anything. It just is. Some of you guys have followed me. It was cool. I appreciated your friendship. I, uh, and you know who you are. I, um, I, it was important for me to sort of remain, uh, alone and not in any sort of personal contact with anybody. And what I wanted to do with all this was to show you. Really, it's unrevealed yet, and it won't be until after I'm dead that what I was able to do as I was dying and how intense the experience so I wanted to share that experience with you of what it is to give everything you have to something because I think you wanna I know why they built the pyramids now you know you wanna leave some evidence that you were here I'm in the last generation of people who will die uh, after this in the next 50 or 100 years genetic engineering and uh, um, nanotechnology people will live forever if you know without tragic accidents or something and even then who knows I'm, I'm happy to die I can't fucking wait, actually. Part of me wants to say, I just can't wait to get out of this fucking roach bit, you know. But, and part of it is I'm just tired, you know. It was a neat, great time. I'm not sad. I'm not mad. I'm not anything. I'm not angry. I'm not anything. Don't feel sorry for myself. I'm curious, you know. I'm not even curious. I know what's happening. I'm anxious. Excited. I'll call this the keystone, and I guess it is. I'll aim it for like five years from today, I guess. I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> Something like this out there. But check and see. If you don't see anything from me, you see this video, then you see no others for 90 days, um, then uh, I'm dead. Either that or I'm locked up somewhere. I'm not going to make it. I'm so good with that. I can't wait to get out of this motherfucker. <laughs> it's good. Afterwards is good. Don't even worry. Do what you can while you're here, you know.
all that bullshit about making it a better place or something. I don't know. Make it a better place for you and everybody else. And you can do anything you set your mind to. You really can. The Keystone. With that said, peace out, motherfuckers. Ha, 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 ha.